Welcome back you two pipe smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well this video is going to show you how I create my uh, my stickers for a better word uh, for my ball jars. There's a sticker, there's the jar. Uh, now before we get started let me let me explain something to you. Uh, you need a lot of equipment and you need, um, well, you just need you just need some time and equipment to get this done. Uh, certain types of um, programs for your computer. So I've been putting this off because I didn't want to disappoint a lot of people. I, you know, I have the I had the feeling that a lot of people thought that this was just you just take them and and put them on a copier and, and copy them. No, there's a lot involved, but I've had so many requests for people to show me how I do it uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and do the video. But I just don't want you to be disappointed um, when you when I get done and you're like, well, okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. But, uh, but I'm willing to show you uh, how I go about doing it. So let's, uh, let's, let's start working on it. Okay, the first thing I do is I set up this these pillows. I set up, you know, the scene uh, using a gray pillow and a black or a brown pillow, and then I take a high resolution picture with this camera. Now I've told you before that I am a photographer, so I've got a lot of uh, high end. Um, camera equipment and this particular camera is although it may look like it's a you know uh, just a pocket camera it is it is a very high-end camera so I take a high resolution picture using this camera then I transfer the pictures from the camera to my laptop now, I have a laptop that goes with me when I go out to take photography so that way I can um, download the pictures instantly and start uh, start working on them. Uh, so the first, so when we open up my computer, first thing I go to is a program called Lightroom. It's an Adobe Photoshop uh, program that um, photographers use. Okay, so I have downloaded. Uh, the uh, Balkan Sobrani into Lightroom and I can start working on it. So the first thing I do is I go over here there's a part of it that will allow me to crop the picture. Okay so I crop the picture in crop the picture in As you'll notice, I'm going right to the edge of where the black is. I, I'm not using the gold at all. Okay, now I'm done with that. So now uh, the picture's a little dark, so I need to turn up the exposure on it. So I'll bring it to it's a little bit lighter. Then I go down to where I can make sure that it is as sharp as it can be. So I turn up the sharpness to 75. And now I'm ready to do what's called cropping, or not cropping, but vignetting. Okay, so the first thing I do in this fitting vignetting process is I, I make sure that the vignette is all the way on. And then you see how that's feathered Right around here, I don't want that. I want a hard edge. So I do a hard edge. Okay, see how it's already uh, acting right? Okay, now see where it says midpoint? See where it's all the way up next to it. See how if I cut it out, then it's gonna be right close to it. So I take the midpoint and I bring it in. Now see what it's doing? 
So now what I have to do is I have to go back up here, back to here to the crop. And I have a little picture of it over here that will change for me when I move. So I'm going to move this out. Okay, so as you can see, that little thing's changing as we go. Okay, see, now I'm going to turn this off. See how we've got pretty much the black all the way around? Now, I want to go back down to uh, the, the midpoint and I'll bring it in. See, there you go. That's Now, this side's a little bit... I'll have to work on this side, but you get the general idea. That's how That's how it comes. Now, when I'm completely done with it, I come up here to the file and I go to export. Okay, and then the custom text I wanted to read is Sobrani. Okay, and then I come down to here to export and it will export to my desktop. Okay, so we get out of there and there it is. See it? Okay, the next step takes place on my desktop computer, so we'll move to there next. Okay, here we are at my desktop computer. Um, there's programs on this computer that they're not on my laptop, plus this one is connected to a printer. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come down to the bottom here, and I've got a program called Pages. I'm going to open that up. Okay, now, as you can see, I've already got some I've already made right here. Okay, this is the one I want. So, double click on that, and now it comes up. So, basically what I do is I download the pictures. Um, well, I, I, I download the pictures onto a disk drive, or not a disk drive, but a, um, a, a, a stick drive drive I'm not sure what they're called uh, but then I upload those photos to those images to my desktop here and they're usually out here but sometimes I'll put them into it says tobacco images I'll put them in here tobacco images okay so let's let's take this one right here I'm sorry didn't mean I'm sorry uh, they're in here in this file Let's take this one here and let's pull it over and let's include it with these. Okay, so you see how it's larger than the rest of them? I uh, size it. And then what I do is I use this. This is a, you can get these at any like um, hobby store, but basically what it does is it's designed to cut circles. So what I did was I sized how large I'm going to need my image to fit the lid. Okay, so then what I do is I put, I take the image and I put it onto the computer. Okay, you see how that's too big still? Okay, so I bring it down some more until it's the size I need, which is that's about the size I need. Now, once I'm done with that, then, and I've got six of them in here, then I send it to the printer. Okay, so when I send it to the printer, here's the printer that I have. It is a um, printer that is used by photographers to print out eight by 10, a different size, different size of prints. And I use photo paper. I don't use just regular everyday, um, copy paper I use photo paper and then um, 
once it once it prints out I'll show you what that looks like okay here it is printed out these are a little bit bigger because I um, I have some bigger ball jars that I need to put to put these on but this is basically how it looks when it comes out of the printer now I'll show you the quality I don't know if you can kind of see see the sheen on it the quality comes out really good the quality of it does all right and then I'll show you what I do to put it onto the ball jar lid okay so once I'm done with that step then I cut it out see how it's cut out once I cut it out, I turn it over and I put double-sided tape on the back of it. See the double-sided tape? And then what I do is I center it. I center it on the lid. And I press it down. And then I put it on top. Screw the top on. Hold on a second. Screw the top on, and there it is. There's the sticker. All done. Uh, process usually takes me from beginning to end about an hour. I've got to do the processing. I have to take the picture. I have to print it, print it out, cut it out, put the tape on. So it takes about an hour if I do six of them. So that's it. That's that's how the stickers are made. Um, like I said, you have to have certain types of programs. You have to have some equipment. Uh, the little thing that you use to cut out circles, and um, the computer. So um, I I hope <laughs> I hope this uh, answers your questions about um, how I go about uh, creating my. Uh, ball jar lid stickers until uh, my next uh, till my next video I want to wish you and your family happy piping <laughs>